everyone, Mandy here from On The Grout. And today we have kind of a medium test for you guys where we're gonna be using spicy oriental mustard, which is a new one for us. Um, for this test, we're gonna be testing burlap and biostrate. Um, and as you can tell, there's three trays here. So what we're gonna do is we have one tray where it is just one sheet of the burlap. The next tray is just biostrate. And then our third tray is actually two, two sheets of burlap. We're doing two sheets because in the past, what we noticed is burlap dries out really quick. So we wanna see if maybe this will hold a little bit more moisture or not. So that's about it for the test other than, oh, seed density. As you can tell over here, we have a tray of the spicy oriental mustard that we already grew out. And it looks really good, but it is a little too dense. So what we also did was drop the seed density down to 10 grams from 20 grams. And we're gonna see if this gives us a better result. So stay tuned and we'll figure out more. Okay, so today is day nine of our Spicy Oriental Mustard Grow, and it is harvest day for these guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at each tray and see what the difference is. So on our two burlap tray, the growth looks really good. It's a little wonky, but overall, it's a very good growth. And then on our tray that has just one piece of burlap, it's a lot more consistent than the one that had two. And once again, it looks really awesome. And then on our bio straight tray, it looks really good. We did have a problem over here because it was next to our fan. It got too much airflow, which caused it to get knocked over. But overall, the growth looks very good. And these two do look very comparable. So let's go ahead and move into the harvest and then we'll compare weights and we'll see which one gave us the best results. Okay, so I just got done harvesting all three trays. So now let's go over the weights for each one, starting with our tray that had two pieces of burlap. For the tray that had two pieces of burlap, we got 127 grams. For our tray that only had a single piece of burlap, we got 150 grams. And then for our tray that had our bio straight, we got 161 grams. So overall, our bio straight was the winner. Okay, so now let's go over what worked and what was challenging about this test. Now for what worked, Biostrate. It got our best germination and overall growth, and it was one to two days ahead of burlap on germination. And then with our burlap, it worked very well once it was germinated, and it was only 11 grams behind Biostrate. Another good thing about burlap is the cost. It only costs 33 cents per tray compared to Biostrate, which is a dollar per tray. So it's one third of the cost that you are paying with um, burlap. Okay, so what was challenging about this test? Burlap, it doesn't retain water as well as our other mediums, but once germinated, it works really well. Another thing with burlap that I noticed whenever harvesting is it's a little bit more difficult to harvest because the roots like to pull out as you glide your knife through. Um, but that's about it for what worked and what didn't work. So let's go over the taste and overall appearance real quick. So after looking at all three trays, they all look the exact same to me. And as far as the taste, I tasted them as I was harvesting. They all taste the exact same. With mustard or spicy oriental mustard, it all has a very spicy taste to it, which all three had. So I think that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And if you'd like to subscribe to us, please do. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, we are at On The Grove Farms. Thank you and have a great day.